Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new, welcome if you're returning. Thank you so much for joining me back. So today's video, we are going to be styling a white linen blazer. This is a great piece to have for the summertime if you want to sort of change up your style from like a denim jacket or maybe a cardigan or something like that. I think a white linen blazer is so gorgeous. It's chic. It's timeless. Um, and it's lightweight for the summertime. That way you can still have like that third piece or a layering piece to go on top of your outfit. Um, I'm giving you guys seven ways to style this blazer. I first was going to do five, but then I thought, let's just have an outfit for every day of the week. Um, and I could probably go endless with these outfits with this white blazer. Uh, so if you guys want to see how I styled it, let's just go ahead and get started. Eight. Here is our white blazer. I got this from H&M, I think it was last year. It's oversized, feel, um, lightweight. Um, I got an extra small. I know for a fact they don't have it again this, um, this uh, summer, but I do know they have a, a different color. So um, if you guys are interested, I will leave the link for that one, but I will also link additional links for bl linen blazers because I know I've seen this, you know, a white blazer and other retailers right now. Um, especially it's like the whole, like the, the summer power suit. I want to say it's like the shorts and you know, the blazer and stuff, which is a great, fantastic way to have that power suit, but in the summertime version. So you can, you know, really wear it however you want. All right. So white blazer, really beautiful linen, lightweight, can't go wrong with it. Oversized at that. My first outfit with this blazer is, let me go grab it. My first outfit, super casual, um, is a pair of denim shorts, preferably very loose fitted ones. Maybe, you know, those ones that you kind of oversize fit. Love these. They're from Zara, some of my favorite shorts um, ever that I've purchased. I wear them all the time. And then I decided to go with a super bright bodysuit. This one right here is this beautiful shade of like coral, neon coral. I'm sure on camera it's probably going to be throwing off a different shade. But online, it, it looks a lot lighter. But it's definitely super bright, really beautiful with your bronzy skin for the summertime. And then having that blazer over it. It just gives this very, you know what it reminds me of, the bodysuit and the denim cutoffs? It reminds me of Baby from, from Dancing, um, so not so you think of Dance, what am I thinking? Uh, from, um, oh my gosh, I can see Dance, Dance, Flash Dance? No, not Flash Dance, oh my gosh. Give me a second, I can see her name. I think it's Elizabeth Gray, something Gray, oh my gosh. I'm having like a complete brain uh, dance. Say flash dance, dance, no flash dance, dancing, dirty dancing. Oh my gosh, dirty dancing. Oh my gosh, but I'm wearing a bright color. But in the scene where she's dancing, she has the white, you know, top on and then the cutoff shorts. This is what that reminds me of. But I'm wearing not tiny shoes like she is. I decided to put on a espadrille with really beautiful colors on. You know, this is just a, a espadrille I've had for years, so you can wear anything. I just thought adding a little color to my feet would look really nice, especially since I have a bright bodysuit on. Layered with the blazer, it looks really beautiful. A great, like, okay, let's be honest. All these outfits are really perfect for vacation as well. So even if you're not going on vacation or you're going on vacation, I think all these outfits I would pack if I was going wherever because um, they're just so easy, functional. They're not too, too dressy, but you do have some options for, um, you know, nighttime. But this would definitely be a great daytime shopping, you know, uh, maybe throw in a, have a big bag with you. Um, it's a really great, fun, and just comfortable outfit. I love it. And I just like the brightness with the white. It sort of like offsets it um, and gives it like something extra um, to the outfit. Okay, second outfit, we're going to go a little bit more neutral colors, um, sort of. Um, we're going to go with a camo skirt. Absolutely love I first decided to do a olive skirt, but then I decided to change it to camo because I just, I don't know, I was just feeling something different. Um, and then I did another bodysuit, this just really beautiful brown colored uh, 
bodysuit and then you throw on your blazer. Uh, so very neutral toned kind of vibe. I threw on some black sandals, little Grecian kind of feel. Um, just super, again, like the other outfit, this is something you can do, you can wear wearing around on vacation. Super simple, super easy, um, but I just really loved um, the this more neutral tone kind of look with the white blazer over it. And then, of course, the other one was a little bit more bright and a bit of a pop, a little bit more daring. This one's just a little bit more um, settled down, I guess, versus the other one. Next outfit, the third one, is another super casual way of dressing the dressing or um, to style this blazer i decided to go with my super trusty shorts that we have seen so many times i said i got all colors of these super comfortable shorts cannot express these are a lilac color because i wanted to go a little bit more light toned on this um look and then i just did a simple white tank top my favorite tank tops from h m with the white blazer and then I decided to do something totally different that I would never okay let me get on with the shoot the first I paired it with Birkenstocks so like I said super simple super easy uh something like this is like an outfit I would literally wear every single day um but the thing the accessory I added to this outfit that I bought on a it's cute I want to try it and then when I had it I was just like oh I just don't know if this is me then I decided to add it to this outfit, and I really do like it. It is a bucket hat, this floral bucket hat. I love the colors, the pastel, the really beautiful white. It went really well with the lilac shorts. Um, I don't know, there was just something about it. I was, I'm was, i not a huge fan of the bucket hats. I'm going to be totally honest. This is my only one that I have, but I really wanted to try it, and I thought it looked really cute with the outfit. Again, something if you're on vacation, if you have like your swimsuit under and you throw your shorts, and you can even just throw the shorts over like your swimsuit and then the blazer might look really cute with the hat um you know so that was that outfit really easy simple um again a very casual way of dressing up the blazer all right next outfit semi semi casual i decided to go um a pair of the white blazer i wanted to go with an all like sort of monochromatic look all white so I pulled out this white skirt, old from American Eagle. I think they have another version of it, but it's a skort. Um, also, it's kind of similar to the Love Shack Fancy, obviously. So uh, this is just like a dupe. Really great quality, though, when I bought it. I bought it again in like all the colors last year because it was just a really great, uh, cute skirt to have over your swimsuits or just a daytime kind of look or nighttime. But And I decided to throw it with an oversized... Um, white t-shirt, like I said, really super casual, but sort of dressy in my opinion, and then add some Adidas with uh, the outfit just to throw um, that casual feel to it, um, and then you can do like an oversized uh, bag, or I also kind of played around with this hat, so you'll see um, the video with this hat on and off, um, I just really like the green, the pop of green with it, uh, with the white just to, you know, sort of give it a little just a little color, but not too much, but I really like this outfit, and it's just a, like I said, great outfit just to run around. So far, these are all like very functional outfits just to be comfortable in, but still look cute at the same time. All right, next outfit is gonna be a dress, um, and I grabbed the white tank top, and I decided to put over this like oversized floral dress, kind of reminds me of just like, you know, a sleeping dress, which is really fun, but I decided to add some heels to it, some sage, like just heels, super cute, throw on a hat. I threw on a pink uh, lack of color hat, really liked it. It was, I mean, you could take the hat on or off with it and of course with the blazer. Um, or if you want, you can throw on the Birkenstocks with the um, with this dress if you want a super casual look. Uh, but I really liked the heel with this and the blazer. Something you could wear to probably like church or you know a Sunday brunch or if you're meeting the girl, your girlfriends and you wanna look cute but really um, casual at the same time. So I feel like there's a good balance of it with the dress being casual, but then of course wearing heels um, obviously dresses it up. So I really like this outfit a lot. Um, it's just, especially when it's so hot here in Texas and pretty much the entire country, um, it's just a really nice option just to feel sort of, not feel stuffed with you know a lot of fabric clinging to you. Next outfit is a very nice fun one with more color. I went with these linen shorts from Abercrombie that I just 
kind of got a couple weeks ago and decided to pair it with a yellow bodysuit just to sort of pop out the color of the yellow in the shorts and then throw on the blazer and then because I wanted it more like a chic um, like nighttime maybe resort feel outfit I put on these sandals and just the whole look kind of came together um, with the blazer obviously on top of like the color with this and it just looked so good so beautiful I feel comfortable in it um, but I still feel sexy and chic at the same time all right last but not least is our dressiest outfit of the bunch and also one of my favorites like they're all my favorites to be honest like I love these all and I wear them all they're all super fun and I, I, I do and I will and you'll see me but this polka dot green skirt I have done a how to style midi skirt for the summertime I think I did it like two or three years ago and honestly I would like to redo it like I just like picking pieces from my closet and seeing what they look like you know years later and they still are fun to me I still love wearing them so I wore this a couple of years ago I styled this skirt like so many different ways from flats to wearing with a t-shirt to I think that video I wore it with like an off the shoulder white but this year I decided I wanted to throw some color contrast with the green and I just went with a simple red this is a sports bra you guys but hey that works as a sports bra, it can wear as a top. Like seriously, it's really, really a thick material, so you can't really, you can't see through it. I mean, I totally would wear if you're gonna wear a sports bra out, you can wear it too with your <laughs> with your skirt. Uh, but I will link this bodysuit. It's one of my favorites from H and M. Not bodysuits. I'm sorry, um, sports bras. I wear it as a sports bra, or sometimes I'll wear it like just under my t-shirts. Or in this case, I'm wearing it as a top with the white blazer love loved the outfit I love the pop of color with the white and then I threw on some just some really simple clear heels so that it wasn't really super fussy uh, since it's all about the outfit obviously and not the shoes so I love the outfit I did an Instagram reel if you guys want to check it out I'll leave it below uh, just a really fun um, summery outfit with a pop of color <laughs> But that is it. That is my all my outfits, seven outfits with one beautiful white blazer, oversized, super fun, super chic and classic. That's my thing. It's, it's just classic and chic and um, it's a timeless piece that you can have and you can possibly, you can rewear it so many different ways or style it so many different ways um, in the summertime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You got some inspiration from these outfits. Um, if you have any questions, or any comments, leave them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.